Here we're looking at how to order fractions that have different denominators where those denominators are not common multiples. To be able to do what's in this video, you do need to be familiar with what's on the previous video where you were ordering fractions with different denominators that were all multiples of the same number. That will help you to understand this one. I'm going to start by just comparing two. You need to decide whether the smaller than or bigger than symbol goes between three fifths and two thirds. We need to find the lowest common multiple of the denominators. Our denominators are five and three. The only factor they share is one. So we need to find the lowest number we get when we multiply them, and that's known as the lowest common multiple. In this case, five and three can be multiplied together to find the lowest common multiple, which is 15. This isn't always the case. There are some lowest common multiples where you will find a smaller number than merely multiplying the two together. So we can make both our denominators 15. To get from 5 to 15, we multiplied the denominator by 3. So we're going to multiply the numerator 3 by 3 to get 9. For 2 thirds, we had to multiply the 3 by 5. So we're going to multiply the 2 by 5 to give us 10 over 15. Now the denominators are the same, it's clear to see which is bigger than the other. We can see that 9 fifteenths is smaller than 10 fifteenths. Remember, the question asked you to compare 3 fifths and 2 thirds. So you need to put your smaller than symbol to show that 3 fifths is smaller than 2 thirds. This is one for you to try. Place the smaller than or bigger than symbol between two thirds and three quarters. Even if you know by just looking at this which is smaller, go through the process of making the denominator the same because it's useful to know when you get numbers that aren't quite as obvious. Pause the video, have a go. First of all, find the lowest common multiple of the denominators. Again, the lowest common multiple with 3 and 4, we just multiply them together. We can make both the denominators 12. To get from 3 to 12, we multiply by 4. So we're going to do the same with the numerator, which is now 8. To get from 4 to 12, we multiplied by 3. So we're going to do the same with the numerator again and this time we get 9. Now the denominators are the same, we can see which is smaller than the other. 8 twelfths is smaller than 9 twelfths. Remember that we have to apply the symbol to the first two fractions, the ones in the original question. 2 thirds is smaller than 3 quarters. It gets a little more tricky when we're comparing more than two fractions. To put these three fractions in order from smallest to biggest, three fifths, eight tenths and two thirds, we need to find the lowest common multiple of those three denominators. We can see that five and ten are both multiples of five, but three isn't. Five and ten will both go into twenty, but three won't. 5 and 10 will both go into 30, and so will 3. So our lowest common multiple is 30. Remember to do the conversions directly beneath each fraction that you're converting, so it's easy to see which belongs to which. To get from 3 fifths to 30 thirtieths, we had to multiply that 5 by 6. So we're going to multiply the 3 by 6, and our numerator now becomes 18. To get from 10 to 30, we multiplied by 3, so we do the same with the 8 for 24, and for 2 thirds, we multiplied the denominator by 10 to get 30, so we're going to multiply the numerator by 10 
to get 20. Now that the denominators are the same, we can see by looking at the numerators which is the smallest one. And because we've got to put in the original fractions from the question, and we can see that 18 thirtieths went with 3 fifths, we're going to put 3 fifths first, followed by 20 over 30, which is 2 thirds, and finally 24 over 30, which is 8 tenths. This is one for you to try. Remember to find the lowest common multiple of the three denominators. Pause the video, have a go. Five and 10 are both multiples of five, but four isn't. Five and 10 will both go into 20, and so will four. So that's our lowest common multiple. We're going to make our denominators 20. To get from 5 to 20, we multiplied by 4. So we multiply 4 by 4 to get 16 over 20. In 7 tenths, we multiplied the 10 by 2 to get 20. So we're going to multiply the 7 by 2 to get 14. In 3 quarters, the denominator 4 was multiplied by 5 to get 20. So we're going to multiply the numerator 3 by 5 to get 15. Now the denominators are the same, we can easily see which is smaller. Remember to go with the fractions from the original question, which are the ones at the top. The smallest numerator below is 14, so 14 twentieths, and that comes beneath 7 tenths. So 7 tenths comes first followed by 15 twentieths, which was 3 quarters, and finally 16 twentieths, which was 4 fifths. There's a separate video that looks at ordering and comparing improper fractions and mixed numbers.